Second Nephi, Chapter 24 Israel shall be gathered, and shall enjoy millennial rest. Lucifer cast out of heaven for rebellion. Israel shall triumph over Babylon, the world. Compare Isaiah 14. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place, yea, from far unto the ends of the earth. And they shall return to their lands of promise. And the house of Israel shall possess them, and the land of the Lord shall be for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives unto whom they were captives, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. And it shall come to pass in that day that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor seized, the golden city seized? The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked, the scepters of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted, and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest, and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and also the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. H.E.L.L. from beneath is moot for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. The noise of thy vials is not heard. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to H.E.L.L., to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, and shall consider thee, and shall say, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, and made the world as a wilderness? and destroyed the cities thereof, and opened not the house of his prisoners? All the kings of the nations, yea, all of them, lie in glory, every one of them in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and the remnant of those that are slain thrust through with the sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land, and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purposed, so shall it stand, that I will bring the Assyrian in my land, and upon my mountains tread him underfoot. Then shall his yoke depart from off them, and his burden depart from off their shoulders. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth, and this is the hand 
that is stretched out upon all nations. For the Lord of hosts hath purposed, and who shall disannul? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? In the year the king Ahaz died was this burden. Rejoice not thou, O Palestina, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken. For out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice, and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent. And the firstborn of the poor shall feed, and the needy shall lie down in safety. And I will kill thy root with famine, and he shall slay thy remnant. Howl, O gate, cry, O city, thou whole Palestina, art dissolved, for there shall come from the north a smoke, and none shall be alone in his appointed times. What shall then answer the messengers of the nations? That the Lord hath founded Zion, and the poor of his people shall trust in it.